We've got these wonderful moments of magic in our life, like Cinderella, one of the most popular fairy tales of all time. The Village Theater's newest production puts a modern twist on the classic. Please welcome Ice Garcia, here to perform In My Own Little Corner from Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. As mild and as meek as a mouse When I hear a command, I obey But I know of a spot in my house Where no one can stand in my way In my own little corner, in my own chair I can be whatever I want to be on the wing of my fancy I can fly anywhere and the world will open its arms to me I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan I'm an heiress who has always had her sin made by her own flock of silkworms in Japan. I'm a girl men go mad for loves a game I can play with a cool and confident kind of air. Just as long as I stay in my own little corner all alone in my own little chair. can be whatever I want to be. I'm a thief in Calcutta. I'm a queen in Peru. I'm a mermaid dancing upon the sea. I'm a huntress on an African safari. It's a dangerous type of sport and yet it's fun. In the night I sally forth to seek my quarry. And I find I forgot to bring my gun I am lost in the jungle all alone and unarmed When I meet a lioness in her lair Then I'm glad to be back in my own little corner All alone in my own little chair So every eligible young maiden Wait, <laughs> that means me, I'm going to the ball. <laughs> I am in the royal palace of all places. I am chatting with the prince and king and queen. <laughs> and the color on my two stepsisters' faces is a queer sort of sour apple green. chill so much sass I love it oh my gosh Brandon Ivy is here you are the artistic director that sounds like a associate artistic associate, director, associate yeah. artistic director. <laughs> it sounds like such a fun job oh it's a blast what can people expect from this performance this production of Cinderella is um, big it's stylish it's Ooh. modern it is so much fun and Village Theater is actually one of the largest professional theaters on the West Coast so the talent is just top-notch right. we have actors you've seen around town it's a fully local cast but there's also Broadway vets in it it's just an incredible group of artists I love that look at we're looking at some of the pictures right now and oh, we're seeing yeah. I love the style so when I just came out here I looked at that outfit is so cute right. so this whole production is set in a 
high fashion world. Yes, it's like Met Gala inspired. Oh. Oh yeah, and I have the costumes are just to die for. It's incredible. There's a moment at the top of Act Two when we reveal the ball, <gasps> and the curtain goes up, and you literally hear the audience gasp. It is a wash in these white oh. fashion forward Met Gala costumes. It's incredible. And I have to say, I had a friend that came with me to opening night. Yeah. And uh, you know, Cinderella transforms and she gets her ball gown, and then he grabbed my arm. And he said. Oh, those shoes. Oh, <laughs> just, look at like, those shoes. Oh, these glitter boots, it's just, it's just amazing. The glitter boots are <laughs> wonderful. Um, and it is so catchy, the music is so catchy, and, and, and the way Ice performs it, mm -hmm. it's just, it's got so much flair, and I hear there's a live orchestra too. Oh my gosh, yeah, we have a 16-piece orchestra. Wow. And to hear them play this lush Rodgers and Hammerstein score oh. is just unbelievable. These waltzes, it's just a, a, a feast for the ears, really. I can't, yeah. I mean, and then and the music, the choreography, everything that goes into mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's really just, I can't wait to take my kids. It seems very oh, family good. friendly. It absolutely is. It is It is so much fun to see families at the theater. You know, we have uh, locations in both Issaquah and mm -hmm. Everett, mm -hmm. and I cannot wait to have families from both of those communities join. A fun thing is that our stage manager gives, uh, sends out performance reports yeah. on email after yeah. every show to just mm -hmm. let us know how it went. And she started doing uh, what she's calling a crown count <gasps> of all the little munchkins Aww. that show up in, in their princess dresses and their tiaras and their crowns. I love it. It is so much fun to just see families back at the theater. What I also love about this is that my daughter actually doesn't really love princesses, uh -huh. but she's going to love this because she loves fashion and style. Oh, totally. So I think this is going to give her a new vibe on what a princess Princess can be and how fabulous. Oh, absolutely! Can be. And what Ice does with this role mm -hmm. is totally inspired and <laughs> modern and fresh, and it makes you, it makes it more relatable and go like, oh, I know that girl. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the script is drawn from the 1997 television adaptation, which we all loved. How familiar were you with that show? I mean, it was pretty groundbreaking for its time. Yeah, I mean, I am a millennial, and yeah. so uh, uh, Brandy is my Cinderella. Yes. I grew up on that. I grew up on that version. But uh, you know what? I think a lot of people don't know is Cinderella was always a live television event for mm. families, specifically for families, and the original. Uh, TV event was uh, Julie Andrews was Cinderella in that version, oh my gosh, I did and then not like know. a decade later it was Leslie Ann Warren. And so I always say that if whether your your Cinderella is Julie Andrews or Leslie Ann Warren or Brandy yeah. or Ice Garcia, right? There is something for everyone. It is like truly an intergenerational. Uh, show. It is, and it really is a lot of fun, and I'm just so excited that we've gotten to have this preview this morning and talk to you, and we're just thrilled. We're filled with magic this morning, so thanks to both you and to Ice. This has been wonderful. And Roger and Hammerstein's Cinderella is playing at the Village Theater in Issaquah through December 23rd. Then it moves to Village Theater in Everett January 6th through the 29th, so you still have some time to see it, but don't waste your time. Get out there and get those tickets. All right.